So what is this video going to be about? Well, it's not going to be about Canva, although I am going to mention Canva because we're going to be looking at a free alternative to Canva that has quite a bit of history and interesting features to it. But what is Canva? If you've never heard of it or never used it, it's a free to use online graphic design tool and it does have some paid plans that have or much more advanced features, I would say. Canva makes designing beautiful, creative assets easy for everyone. From social media images, videos, GIFs, posters, websites, booklets, multimedia presentations, videos, and lots more. Canva is an invaluable tool for helping you level up your design skills even if you're just getting started. And they are adding more new features including artificial intelligence features that I will look at in another video. But here I'm logged into a currently free Canva account and basically you start off with like a homepage here that you need to choose like a template for what you're interested in. Are you going to do a whiteboard? Are you going to create a document? What about a video, Instagram post, posters, logos, Facebook pages or posts, flyers, infographics, Instagram story, resumes, your story, an A4 document, and so forth. So basically you would go in and do a search here for what you're looking for and it comes up with tens if not hundreds of thousands of different ideas. And the other page real quick, here's the pricing page. So it's free for anyone wanting to design anything on your own or with others. There are limitations as you can see here. And then for $120 basically a year for one person, like individuals, freelancers, who want unlimited access to the premium content, you would have to pay this much. There's 100 million plus premium stock photos, videos, audio, and graphics. Unlimited features, folders, and premium content. 610,000 premium and free templates with new designs daily, amongst all these other features. So it's a very awesome tool, and I do like using it for some tasks. And I will be acquiring a pro plan here in the very near future. But let's say you didn't want to pay money and still wanted to have access to more advanced features. So what you could do is take a look at this website here. It's called palatno.com. Studio.palatno.com. And so if you compare what's over here in the left side of the toolbar, you will see that it's pretty similar to what you have in Canva. So if I go here and just open up a sample project and you look over here in the left, you'll see the design screen, elements, your brand hub, uploads, text, drawing, projects, apps. So you have this toolbar over here on the left. And if we look here again, you have a very similar toolbar. And again, this is a free application. As far as the cost for this tool, there are a lot of features you can get for free. And if we look at the pricing page here, for 187 US dollars a month, you get some additional things that you don't have in the free tool. However, there are lots and lots of things you can do with this design tool. So you, you would pick a template, then you can start editing your fonts, editing your pictures, adding layers. We have a layer here or a layer toolbar. So you can like hide and show layers, which is really helpful. And you can drag and drop them and move them around. So like here I can drag this up to the top or drag it back to the bottom. 
and you can lock them or delete them all from this layers menu option. So I just did a search for pizza and you can see there's two templates that showed up. And so you can start clicking on the individual pieces or elements of this design. And let's say you wanted to add text. There's all these different fonts that you can add. So you just drag and drop. And if you wanted to find other photos, let's say we wanted to look for pizza. So we want to add another pizza. You can just drag and drop it right over the top. And there's icons. Let's see if we can find a pizza icon. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a pizza icon and we'll just kind of move it there. And let's say we wanted to place it right there on this image. And you can click on effects here and change a lot of different properties of it. And you can change the different colors of it if you want to by clicking on these color palette items. Then let's say you needed to add some shapes in here. So let's say we wanted to add a circle. Then we wanted to change the color. Let's make it orange. If you need to upload your own images, you can do that. And if you do something that you don't like, let's say we want to get rid of that circle, you can just click the undo button right there and it undoes the last actions that you did. I'm not going to upload any images, but you can do that. If you wanted to change a background, there's different backgrounds you can look for here. Let's just look for food. And let's look for pizza. So again, there are some different pizza background images. And if you wanted to resize things, you can do that also. You can use these pre-built sizes. Like if you're going to create a YouTube thumbnail, you could make it 1280 by 720. So it has some quick defaults. And up here in the upper right, we have the position, so you can move it up and down the layers. You can align it left and right and top, middle and bottom. These other icons, if you want to set a transparency or lock or unlock it, or if you wanted to duplicate an item, they're just right up there or to delete it. Here I click on the download, so you can choose the type that you want. PDF, PNG, JPEG, HTML, and set the size of it, and then you click download, and it will download it to your computer system. So here I downloaded it and opened it up in the picture editor, and so you can see it looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Here's another interesting feature, there's quotes. So I put in pizza, and so let's find a short one here. How about this one from Nick Jonas? I love pizza, you can't really go wrong with pizza. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on this quote, I love pizza. And so then we can change the font. Let's make it larger. And get rid of the bottom part. We don't want that. And let's go ahead and make it bold. And I'll just use the arrow keys. You can use those to move your items around on the screen.
If you needed to generate a QR code, you can put a URL here and it generates a QR code. So that's kind of handy to have built in for when you need it. And last but not least is AI generated. So lastly, we have this AI generated down here in the bottom left. And so I went to the generate tab and it allows you to input a prompt. So I just said landing spacecraft in a big city on the roof. And so there's what it came up with. And if you go to search, you can type in different searches and have it look through the images that are already cached here. So here I typed in space and it is showing different images. And we could put in outer space. Or how about spaceship? And so it does have some AI generating capabilities. And as it mentioned here, it's using the Stable Diffusion AI beta. And it gives you, looks like 10 free credits. So that, in a nutshell, is an overview of this free project and the user interface and how it works. Now in the second part of the video, I'm going to mention the other part of this tool, which is the open source part of it. And so, if we go down the line here to some other tabs, here we can see this is on github.com slash palatno dash or hyphen project. And here we can see the project board with all the work that needs to be done. And here is another repo, the palatno dash studio. And from there you can launch the application which is what we are looking at, or there's the Plotno SDK. And there's a lot of documentation here to help you understand what its capabilities are. And right here, it's actually running a version of the program inside of the sandbox. And so like I can click on these and you can see it looks basically just like what it looked like in the web interface itself. So here they explain a little bit more the Plotno SDK, give your user superpower to edit design templates in or with familiar UI right in your application. It's a customizable SDK for making your own canvas editor without having to spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours doing it yourself. So where would you use this? Design apps. Do you want to make an editor for like social media images, presentations, business cards? Do you have a printing company? Do you want to have a printing business so your users can quickly make a design to print? You could use it to start that. How about e-commerce? Do you have a shop and you want to allow your clients to customize their purchases? Like making their own t-shirt design? It could be used for that. Low cost. Building a full canvas editor is hard if not impossible. You will save tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars if you'll just use a solid and already working solution like what I'm showing here. Fast development, Plotno is designed to easily build a canvas editor application and use to get your new business feature quickly. Don't waste time, go ahead and give it a look. And Plotno is made from the experience of the developer or developers that have built tens of similar applications. What about good for developers and who's using it? It's a large set of JS modules and React components so you can bootstrap a working version in a day. A full featured Canvas editor like what we just saw in the code repo running. Plotno has all the features for building rich design tools, selection, textiles, image filters, undo, redo, smart cropping, and much more. We looked at all of those, except I didn't do any cropping of images. A simple API. Plotno hides as much complexity from you as possible, so you can 
use a clean yet powerful API. And I thought some of the testimonials down here were pretty interesting. I think this last one here, let's see. Having a graphic design tool or tools is a must in the marketplace, especially in a business to consumer model. The ability to tell a story outside of the written word gives you an unfair advantage. We recognize this, but didn't have the resources to hire a graphic design team to meet the demands of our directors. When looking into possible solutions, we found Plotno. Adding any type of software to a new organization or to an organization that's existing has its challenges, many challenges, but getting an immediate response from the Plotno team is a huge plus. This product continues to get better as we use it. I love the transparency, real-time updates, and sandbox Plotno offers. And so there's the documentation we already looked at and pricing. So if you're looking for, as a developer, a tool to jumpstart having features like I showed, then you need to give this tool a look. If you're just looking for a website or a tool to use, as a designer or graphic designer, then this is also worth a look because a lot of the things are free. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I may post more information about this in the future. And thanks for watching. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.